Hello, Medipreneurs. I am thrilled to be welcoming Blair Telemeyer today to talk to us about her session at Medipreneurs. She's going to talk about the three pharmapreneurial paths, physician's office, pharmacy-based, and patient pay. Blair, you have taken entrepreneurialism in pharmacy to such new levels, and we're thrilled that you're going to be joining us. Will you tell us just a little bit of your path that got you here? Yes, absolutely. So I created the Pharmapreneur Academy in 2016, and we've been building it ever since. But what I do basically is I am a business coach for pharmacists and other healthcare professionals that want to leverage their clinical skills into innovative new consulting models. So a lot of times pharmacists will come to me and say, you know, maybe they want to go work in a hospital pharmacist or as, sorry, they're a hospital pharmacist, but they want to go work in a physician's office and leverage those clinical skills. So what I help them do is to define that business model, figure out exactly wh what it would look like to place the pharmacist in an integrated care model and then also help them approach the physician's office. So pitching their services and explaining how they can offer value for this type of clinic. Fantastic. And as you know, probably better than most of us, healthcare is changing so rapidly. We have a lot of unhappy pharmacists out there, people feeling kind of disillusioned with where uh, the profession has gone. And so your Pharmapreneur Academy is very much for those people. Now, how, how into their, how committed to the concept do people need to be in order to come to your session and really take something from it? So you can come to the session with just an idea. What, what we're doing in my Medipreneurs session is really a an opportunity for us to work together to decide which of those three pharmapreneurial paths is best for you. So the three paths are one, the physician's office path, which I just mentioned, which would help you figure out your pitch and the value that you could add in an ambulatory care, primary care type setting. Mm -hmm. The second path would be the pharmacy based path. So this might look like oh, you know, I, I am really into genetic testing and I own a pharmacy. I'm going to create a genetic testing program and offer it in my pharmacy as a cash-based service. Or it could just be learning how to do MTMs as an independent consultant for different pharmacies. The idea on the pharmacy-based path is you're in the community pharmacy setting. The third pharmapreneurial path is really focused on cash pay services. So we call it the patient pay path. Mm -hmm. And that might be creating a functional medicine program. That might be, um, you know, hormone consult. That might be in-home MTM. Each of these three paths have some overlap. You know, you can do... Right. Cash pay services in a, in a pharmacy or in a physician's office, of course. So there, I almost see it as like a Venn diagram for how you want to structure your practice and your business based on the services you want to provide. But what this session at Medipreneurs is going to do is create the opportunity so you understand which of the three paths that, that are open to you the mm -hmm. pros and cons of each path, because each path has a little bit different challenges associated with it. And then we're also going to talk about which path you want to pursue and the next steps for pursuing that path. Which is critical, right? You, you've, you've got this idea and you're so on fire and you are excellent at helping people figure out what comes next and have the support and resources to do that well. Absolutely, I, I always say that I can help you build the type of consulting business that you want to build, but first you have to tell me what that is. So yes. I've created this language around these three pharmapreneurial paths just so we can really hone in 
So some of the work we do in the academy is almost like putting your blinders on because as pharmacists, we get overwhelmed. We're like, we can do this. We can do that. We, you know, we're, we can be a jack of all trades. We can learn these, you know, new services very, very quickly. We can teach ourselves how to do things very, very quickly. So when you're first starting out, it's like, well, I can do anything for anybody, but that's not how you build a business. The, the way you build a business is you really focus in on who your target market is going to be, which is how we describe these three paths. And then you try to figure out that, that person's pain points. You know, what are the things that they're struggling with that your services could help them with? Right. So we've walked through a lot of exercises that are focused on really honing in and putting those blinders on to, to really start seeing results so that you can get your business started very, very quickly. Fantastic. And, and I think you've answered the question of if people come to your session, what do they walk, walk away with? They're going to walk away with a lot. And then in addition, you're going to be there for the weekend and have a booth. If people want to understand your services in more depth, they'll have lots of opportunities to speak with you. Absolutely. So, you know, I feel like this session at Metapreneurs is going to be very helpful for people to cut through the noise and to decide exactly what their next steps are going to be. So a lot of pharmacists come to me and they say, oh, you know, I, I made a business card and I put up a website and now I don't know what to do. And what, what this session will, will help them understand is what those next steps are. I, actually, I don't even recommend the business card and all that stuff till you've gone through and decided which of the three paths you're going down. Absolutely. When you think about it, I mean, your messaging and your branding is so specific to your target market. But what I see a lot of people do is they'll just come up with a, you know, a generic, like consulting type business card that isn't focused on physicians offices or helping, you know, maybe independent pharmacy owners or helping patients. They'll just come up with a generic business card and then once we start working through the path, they'll realize what they've already created isn't in line with the services that they're going to be offering. So, you know, having a mentor, having a, a, a business coach or a mastermind program, or even going to a conference like Metapreneurs, not only helps you figure out your next steps, it uh -huh. helps you avoid missteps and save time. It's the consistency of the message and the more yeah. consistent and especially really focused that message is, the more power it will have. So I know you spend a lot of time helping people with that. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And, and people are getting great results. I mean, we've got, I, I get emails from pharmacists every day and they, I encourage everyone to post their wins in the forums people are getting yeses from nurse practitioners, from physicians' offices, from creating new models and transitions of care for health systems. I mean, yeah. once you learn these business skills, you can really apply it to a lot of different things. Exactly right. You're right. So you're going to be talking about three common paths but even if someone is out there in some unique niche area, they could get a lot out of your session. That's a great point. So let's help people get to know you just a little bit. I doubt you entered pharmacy school saying, I am going to shape entrepreneurial practice for pharmacists for all time. So what's a little bit of the key story of how you got here? So I graduated in 2011 from UAMS College of Pharmacy in Little Rock. I was working as a clinical hospital pharmacist mm -hmm. up until probably mid 2014 mm -hmm. when my position was eliminated. So everyone's being squeezed by reimbursement. You know, it's not yeah. just community pharmacies, it's community hospitals, it's community physicians offices. I mean, across the board, healthcare reform has 
created um, a lot of challenges and opportunities as well, because I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be doing this if I hadn't lost my job. Right. I was six months pregnant at the time that I lost that job as a clinical hospital pharmacist. And I really went, well, what do I do now? Like what value can I offer as an entrepreneur? I've always had this entrepreneurial streak in my heart. And after I lost that position, I was, I realized all of my family's income was tied up into that one position. And mm -hmm. I, I went kind of like full tilt to the other side and I got like 12 different jobs, yeah. which was just working relief until my daughter was born and throughout my maternity leave. So really when I kind of got back on my feet in early 2015, I sat down, what do I want to do? And I decided to focus in on MTM consulting. It, it was kind of dropped in my lap uh, that, that year before that I had been working for a lot of different independents, one of the, the places I was working asked if I could start handling their MTM cases because of my background as a clinical hospital pharmacist. And so I did. And I actually, I said no at first because I, I was afraid. Like, I'm like, I don't know how to bill Medicare. I don't know how to do MTMs because I'd never done it before as a clinical hospital pharmacist. But once I got into it, I dove head first. My, my husband calls me the queen of research. I can get a little uh, obsessed with something whenever I'm trying to learn it. And that's pretty much what happened to me is I, I dove into MTM. I decided I'm going to go all in on this business. I'm going to you know, start reaching out to pharmacies in my area and offering these types of services. I created a blog and a website and a bunch of business cards to focus in on offering these MTM services. Uh -huh. And then <laughs> my target market changed somewhat uh, serendipitously because what actually happened was I was already doing MTM programs and then other pharmacists started reaching out to me saying, how are you doing this? How are you managing your MTM program? How are you doing this as, you know, kind of a part-time relief job? And, uh, and so towards the end of 2015, I took on three one-on-one -on -one coaching clients just to see if I could help these pharmacists replicate the, the model that I had done. Uh -huh. And we did, we had a lot of success with that. And so I decided that there was no way that I would be able to continue to do what I was doing and coach pharmacists in that way, in that one-on-one -on -one type thing. So what I did was I took all the information I had on MTM consulting and I put it into an online course. And I launched that in January, 2016. And since then, like the rest is history. That's what I was going to say. And the rest, as they would say, is history because it's been beautiful, beautiful to watch your success. And again, I'm just thrilled that you're coming to Medipreneurs. If you're watching this video, you have no doubt that you want to go to Blair's session. And um, again, oh, we just we thank you for coming and giving everyone this opportunity. Yes, I'm very, very excited about it. So I will be doing uh, this presentation workshop. I, you know, I almost feel like it's going to be more of a workshop because I want to make sure that the attendees at Metapreneurs can ask their questions, can get feedback from me, can really bounce ideas. It's going to be like a fun brainstorming session for an hour and a half. So that's Saturday, April 18th from 4 to 5.30 p.m at the Metapreneurs Summit. I'm so excited to be able to come in and to, to share these ideas and really help pharmacists build the types of businesses that they wanna build. And that's why they come to Metapreneurs, so it's perfect. All right, we'll see you in April. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really looking forward to it. Thank you.